Are you blocking magic in your life? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I came up with this one because every day I end the show by by saying, you know, you got to uh, get out there and let the magic happen. And I think that most people, it's not that you need to make the magic or that you even need to, I don't know, conjure up the magic or anything of that sort. The real magic in life, I find, will happen if you let it happen. It's everywhere. It's constant, flo constantly flowing. It's just that we do certain things to block it. And I use it on a business show like this, uh, talking to business owners and executives and so forth, uh, because it's, it's true no matter what. But it's really true, you can really see it in the field of business, that what people do is they set out to achieve a certain thing. And there's a million different ways that a person can block the magic in their life. Just completely keep it from occurring. Most of it, uh, I, think, I think a whole lot of it, the foundations of everything come back to what we talked about yesterday in discussing attitude. Your frame of mind and your attitude is the first thing. If you don't have that right, nothing, ain't nothing else going to get right. You have to have that right attitude. And if you don't, that has to be fixed. That is a guaranteed blocker. Yeah, absolutely that. Um, and I could, I could break it down into, into a lot of those, a lot of the same ways I break down business ideas. So I, I like to break down the things we talk about here into principles, strategies, and tactics. Principles are those foundational type of ideas like an attitude. And, and everything else that goes along with that. Um, you got strategies, which are really the plans that you, you put into place. And a lot of times people will either, I mean, people just tend to under plan or over plan. They get too worked up uh, with the plan and having something to work specifically exactly the way that they want it to work or they don't plan anything. They have zero expectations of getting anything, which goes back to attitude. And because of that, everything falls apart. You won't get magic if you don't expect magic. That's one thing I found. <laughs> I mean, you'll get some. Life itself is magical. You know, <laughs> just being alive, uh, existing, existing in a healthy state, even more magical. But it doesn't feel like magic. It just feels like, okay, well, this is the same way it was yesterday type of thing. But it's magic. I mean, it's amazing how these things are able to occur. Um, the next one, though, is the tactics. And the tactics are what people all get caught up in. It's the day-to-day -day minutia. And I found most of the problems happen on the principal end. It comes down to the principles. It comes down to your attitude on what you're expecting from things on how you're going about that process and planning it out and kind of not foreseeing the future, but planning on having a better future and, and working positively in that direction as best you can. You can never, you can't predict everything. You got to be able to roll with the punches. And then there's the day-to-day -day tactics, the things, the what, the how you're going to do it. And everyone gets caught up with that as if that's that's where the magic's at. Magic just happens. It honestly just happens. It's there. It's available. We have a, a freedom available in this world. If you can, if you can reach an area with political freedom and and, uh, and economic freedom and and religious freedom, you can. There's no end to what you can do. And there's no, there's no, uh, there's obviously limitations on all those freedoms everywhere you go, uh, for better or worse. But it's available. It's available to you. If you're watching this, it's available. There's a way that you can get it. But you have to want it. And then beyond that, you have to expect it. People block the magic 
by getting too caught up with the tactics. They get too caught up with the how-to, with the specifics of a day-to-day, -day, with the specific people they're dealing with. I, I'm telling you, there's, there's other people you could work with. <laughs> there's more people. If you, could, if you aren't getting along with the people you got, go, go talk to other people. You'll find somebody that you can either handle better or that can handle you better or both. I think in most cases it's both, you know, we need, we need people we can, we can gel with long enough to get something accomplished in life. That's what life's all about. It's, a, it's about moving forward, accomplishing things, and in that process, discovering what life's really all about, which is underneath all that. It's not about business accomplishment and success, but it's what comes along underneath that. It's the person you become in the process. I hope this isn't too airy fairy up in the air and uh, tough to wrap your mind around. But the reason why I say at the end of every episode, let the magic happen, is because most of us just are blocking it. We're keeping it from occurring. It's not what you're not doing, it's what you're doing that you shouldn't be. If you can wrap your mind around that and keep your eyes out on what can I stop doing? that might be blocking the magic. You could ask yourself that question. That's a million dollar question and it might just change your life if you can keep your eye on that sucker. So hopefully that's helpful. I got a book all about the strategy side of things. Okay, it deals a lot in the principles and then shows you how to translate that into strategies for your life and your business. It's called Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You can uh, go and purchase a copy. They're a hard, hardback book, but they're short. It's a very short, simple read. Uh, and you can get a free copy if you want, a digital copy at amazonproofbook.com. That's all I have for tonight. You have a great one. We're going to be back here tomorrow. But in the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen. <laughs>